What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Knowledge Bubble Boom! Episode, oh, bang, 458. Zach Matheny's in the house. Elite power lifter, gangster, natural bodybuilding pro, 4 a.m. crew motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Trainer. He's, yeah, he's gonna teach you how to deadlift today. Take it away. All right, come over here, Kyle. So, we're gonna talk about creating tension before we get into the movement, okay? So, building up this tension enough to right when you grab that bar, if you're a dive bomber, if not, doesn't matter. We're building up enough tension that when we go, we're going, all right? So, when I'm setting up for a sumo deadlift, I'm focusing on external rotation, right? Knees are open. And I am generating so much force. I'm almost shaking. I'm driving those feet down. I'm tightening up. I'm so tight. It's right when I go down, I explode up, right? So, we're creating tension, creating tension, bam, explode up, so okay? What, what does it feel like when you say externally rotate? Mm -hmm. What's the cue to a person that yeah. has never felt that? Before? Sure. The simple cue here is that we'll talk about spreading the floor or pulling the carpet apart, okay? So, we should feel tension. So, when I externally rotate, I feel my hips tighten up, right? So, it's allowing them to sit in. Now, I'm tight through my hips, okay? Soft through my hips here. That's called knee valgus, right? So if we externally rotate, create tension down, okay, now my hips are tight, everything's locked. Okay, so pull that floor apart, push the feet out. Do you have okay. any cue hamstring-wise whenever you're feeling tight? Is it like you externally rotate and then are you like squeezing here or tensing here? Yeah, like what's yeah. So, so I'm breaking my knee and I'm thinking about pushing that foot down so hard. That's where I find my hamstring tension, really. It's I'm pushing that foot down, sitting into those hips, now I'm so locked and loaded in there. Just squeeze, okay? So just focus on driving that foot down. Boom. Now, we're gonna talk about dive bomb real quick. Yeah. So, and I'm gonna do one with Tyler too, because Tyler sits yeah, back, Tyler's so his is completely different, right? So different. the dive bomb, this is where I remember it originating from. Zach was stuck around 600. Yep. And I thought he was thinking about it too much. Yeah. Really. So <laughs> right? This is, it, sure, it's technique, but really it's just a mindset thing, right? Uh, for me, I was getting two in my head. So it's, it's about getting outside your head, throw those salts down, you walk up, set, up. set externally rotate, find your tension. If you're not rushing to it, but once you go, you're going, yeah. right? And then, dive on. And Raymond. Ramos pulls the same way. Yeah, and here, here's the truth. It's a little more technical, right? You're so quick grabbing it. There's been times that motherfucker slipped out of my hand. You gotta squeeze, but if you hit it just right, you'll pull 650. But that was to say, as we look over here, <laughs> yeah. the best That's why it's still up there. I know. That was like three or four years ago, too. 640. Yeah. So listen to this guy. Knowledge so, bomb, 458. 